Good day everyone. Uh, for today's video, we're discussing about data warehousing. So, what is data warehousing? Data warehousing is the process of collecting, storing, and managing large volume of structured data from the various resources. It enables organization to make informed uh, business decisions and based on integrated high quality data data warehousing improves data accessibility consistency and accuracy for analytical purposes and why data warehousing so data warehousing is for the centralized data storage data warehousing plays a crucial role in the field of information management and the business intelligence and data warehousing is the process that involves collecting, storing, and managing data from uh, the, the various sources in the centralized repository. So the primary look, go, the primary the primary goal of uh, data warehousing is to provide unified and easily accessible platform for analysis and reporting. And it also allows for easy access to integrated data for analysis and reporting. Enables data governance and security measures. And here are some key points related to centralized data storage in the context of data warehousing. Integration of data. And the, the, the data warehouse integrate data from different sources, such as transactional database, spreadsheets, a flat file, and external systems. So this integration allows organization to have a comp comprehensive view of their data. A centralized repository, the data warehouse serve as a centralized repository where data is stored in a structured, organized manner. This is structure facilities, efficient querying and analysis. Historical data storage. Data warehouses often store historical data allowing user to analyze or analyze trends and patterns over time. The historical perspective is uh, valuable for business intelligence and decision-making process. Data cleaning and transformation. Before being stored in the data warehouse, data is often clean and transformed to ensure consistency and quality. So this process enhances the reability of the data analytical purposes query, query query and reporting user can run complex queries and generate reports directly from the data warehouse the centralized nature of data simplify, simplifies the querying process and provides a single source of truth for reporting. Business intelligence or BI, data warehouse is closely um, associated with business intelligence. BI tools often connect data warehouses to extract information for generating insights, dashboards, and reports. Scalability that are designed to handle large volumes of data as an organization grows and accumulates more data the data warehouse can be scaled up to accommodate in increased storage and processing demands a data security and governance a centralized storage allows for better um, for better control over data security and governance Access controls can be implemented to regulated who can access, modify, or delete within 
the data warehouse. So why data warehouse? It's because it's to improve decision making. Data warehousing provides a centralized storage in the data warehouse provides a foundation for efficient for a data analysis, reporting, and decision making within an organization. It supports the integration of the diverse data source, historical analysis, and the generation of a valuable insight for strategic planning. And also, data warehousing uh, provides the foundation. Data warehousing is provides uh, uh, provides a foundation for effective decision making by offering a centralized, high quality, and and historical view of data. So it it empowers decision makers with the tools and insight needed to make informed strategic choice and organization success so the types of data warehouse data mart data mart is a subnet of a data warehouse that is focused on a specific business line functional area or or a subject matter so it is essentially a smaller or specialized data repository that is designed to meet the specific needs of a particular group of user within the within an organization data marts are often created to address specific business requirements and other faster to implement a full scale uh, data warehouse So, enterprise data warehouse. An enterprise data warehouse is a type of data, is a type of data warehouse that is um, specifically designed to support the reporting and analysis needs to entire organization. It integrates data from various sources within the organization and provides a centralized repository for a business intelligence and decision making process in the context of uh, types of data warehouse and edw can categorize based on the architecture de deployment model and usage operation operational data store is a type of a database that is often used as an interim staging area of operational reporting and business intelligence within an organization so it, it plays in a crucial role in 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 the over overall data structure especially in the context of data warehousing so when discussing the types of the data warehouse the ods can be considered as a part of the broader data warehouse landscape. Data warehousing and architecture. Data warehousing and architecture refers to uh, the, the structure and design of data warehouse, which is a centralized repository for storing, managing, and analyzing large volume of data from various resources within organization. The architecture is crucial for ensuring that the data warehouse can be effectively support the business intelligence and decision making needs of, of the organization. Oh. <clears throat> data sources. So here's the key components of the uh, of the data warehousing architecture. First is the data, resource, data sources. Data sources, the data warehouse gather information from the, various res, from the various sources such as transactional system like the CRM and ARP system. Data integration, integration tools, tools, can, tools and process are used to extract, transform, and load data into the data warehouse 
data storage is stored structure manner to support the query and analysis. Metadata re repository is is the data about data. No, metadata is about data providing information about the structure, origin, usage and and quality of the data in the warehouse. A metadata repository is a crucial um, managing and documenting the data warehouses content and structure. The ATL or the extract transform load process. The ATL process is the, is responsible for extracting data from the source system, transforming into the suitable format for analysis and loading into the data warehouse. So this process involves cleansing, aggregation, and integrating data to ensure consistency and quality. OLAP or the Online Analytical Processing Engine. OLAP enables user to interactively analyze uh, multi-dimensional data. It allows for a, a complex queries and support operation like uh, drilling down into the detailed data or, or, or rolling up up to higher levels of aggregation by uh, favoriting for differ different perspectives. Data warehousing components. The, in, in the data warehousing data sources refers to the origin of the data is collected, processed, and stored in the in the data warehouse. Data warehouse involves extracting, transforming, and loading. D data uh, data from the various sources in the centralized repository for uh, for analysis and reporting. In the context of data warehousing, the data warehouse is a central repository that is used for storing, consolidating, and managing large volume from the various resources. It also serves as a foundation of, for business intelligence and reporting. So the data warehouse is the one of the key components in, in the overall architecture of the data warehousing system. The online transaction processes or the o OLTP is a, cat is a category data processing that involves the management and processing of the transaction in real time. The transaction in the context refers to the sequence of, of one or more operation performed on a database. So typically involve the insertion, updating, or deleting of data. The OLTP system are designed to handle a large of short, fast transaction that reflects day-to-day -day operation of an organization. OLAP or the online analytical process is a category of the software tools that enables user to interact or, or the user inter interactively analyze multi-dimensional multi data from the, the, the difference perspective. So it's, it's a powerful technology used in the business intelligence, the data anal analysis, analysis for reporting, planning, and decision making. So the OLAP systems are designed to provide fast, efficient, and flexible, flexible access to aggre aggregated and detailed data, allowing users to drill down into the specific dimension or hierarchies. 
data warehousing in the process flow. So this is the process flow of the data warehousing. Data extraction. Data is collected from the various source. System and transactional database. The flat file external database and the other sources. Extract, transform, load or the ATL tools are often used to extract data from the sources system. So the data transformation or the raw data extracted from the source uh, may not be a uh, suitable format for analysis. So data in transformation involves cleansing, uh, filtering, and transforming the data in consistent and usable format. Uh, these steps may also include data enrichment where additional information is added to enhance the data set. Data, data loading, transform data is loaded into the data warehouse. There are different methods of loading data including batch processing and, and real-time streaming. It, it also typically use a staging area where data is temporarily stored before using before before being loaded into the main warehouse tables data access and retrieval user can query and retrieve data from the data warehouse using reporting tools query language like SQL or the business intelligence application. Data access is optimized for analytical queries, allowing for complex analysis and reporting. So data extraction, transformation and, and loading or the ATL. Data loading, the process of loading the transformation data into the data warehouse for storage and analysis purposes. Data extraction, the, the process of, of extracting data from the various sources, such as a database, um, applications, and APIs for use in the data warehouse. Data transformation, and the, the process of converting and cleaning the, extract, the extracted data to make suitable for analysis and reporting. Data warehousing storage system is a specialized type of um, database server that is designed to store and manage large volume data various sources for a structured and efficient manner. So the primary purpose of the data of the data warehouse to, is to support the business intelligent analytics activities by providing um, centralized repository of data analysis and reporting. Data warehouse server, popular database used for a data warehousing include the Snow, uh, Snowflake or, or uh, an Amazon Redshift. Google BigQuery, Microsoft Azure, and SQL Data Warehouse, uh, Teradata, or, or the Oracle Exadata. Choosing the right data warehouse database depends on, the, uh, on various factors such as organization-specific requirements, existing infrastructure, and budget consideration. Data storage is a critical component of the data warehousing system. So the, the storage architecture of the data warehousing is designed to effic uh, efficiently handle this task. Data retrieval and access. The data warehousing involves the process of obtaining extracting data from a centralized repository for analysis and reporting purposes. A data warehouse system are designed to consolidate and organize data from the various sources. So making easier 
for user to analyze and make information business decisions. So benefits of the data warehousing storage system, it's centralized data storage, improve data quality and consistency, enhance data analysis and reporting. Also support the decision making process. Data warehousing management system. Data warehouse management system are designed to help organization manage to analyze a large volume of data and also they provide centralized repository for storing managing data from the various sources the this system enables organization to make um, information decision based on the analysis and reporting and data warehouse modeling techniques uh, the star schema modeling it employs um, a central fax table surrounded by this uh, dimension tables enabling simple and fast query, uh, querying for reporting and analysis and snowflake schema modeling utilize normal normalized dimension tables to reduce data redundancy and improve data integrity suitable for complex and highly normalized data structure and fast uh, constellation modeling involves multiple facts tables that share dimension tables ideal for complex and diverse um, data analysis and reporting needs benefits of the data warehousing Data warehousing enables you no know, uh, analyze storage data and management leading to improve data quality and consistency and also it facilitates advan advanced anal analytics and reporting by providing a a single source of truth uh, for data analysis and also data warehousing support uh, historical data storage allowing for trends analysis and information decision making and there's an also a challenges in data warehousing for a data quality ensuring the accuracy and consistent consistency of the data across multiple sources also dealing with the redundancy and inconsistency as uh, inconsistency issues maintaining data integrity and reliability so in scalability, uh, scalability so it can manage the increased volume of data and need for scalable storage solutions, ensuring efficient data retrieval and process as data grows, adapting uh, changing data storage and processing requirements. So data warehouse tool and techniques, the ETL tools or the extract, transform and load tools for data integration and processing. Data modeling tools, a software for design and creating the data models for data warehouse. And also the data warehouse appliance, appliances, um, specialized hardware and software systems optimized for data warehousing. So in data warehousing in the industry trains, 70% they're going to cloud adaptation and 60% EI integration. 45% real-time analytics and 80% data privacy compliance. Then the future of data warehousing. Data warehousing is moving toward cloud-based solutions for improved scal scalability and flexibility. Integrate integration of EI and machine learning into data warehousing for anal advanced analytics and perspective insights increase focus on real-time data warehousing to to support dynamic business needs and decision making and that our next topic is about uh the new is 
uh, no SQL database. So, introduction of no SQL database. This no SQL database store and manage data in a relation, relational format using a, a, flex, a, a flexible schema for unstructured data. No, no SQL databases are, are, are different data models including the document key, value, or, or a, a, co, a column family, and graph to organize and retrieve data efficiently. No SQL database. They are they are designed to handle large a uh, volume of the data and provide high performance and scalability. So column column family database are organized data into the col into columns instead of rows, making them suitable for analytical and real time application with high volume of velocity of data the do document database are stored in in flexible uh, json like documents making them the ideal for content management and real-time application with constant um, changing data models a key value database stored data as collection of key value a, a collection of key value peers making them suitable for caching, session management, and real time analytics. Then we go to the document stores. Working of the document stores are stored in the flexible, so like JSON like format, allowing nested data structured and dynamic schemas. Data is retrieving using key value pairs and documents can be indexed for a uh, faster retrieval. Document stores are schemaless, meaning fields can be added to documents without affecting other documents. And also common document store um, databases includes Mongo, MongoDB, Couchbase, and Amazon document DB. Column store, uh, the key characteristic, characteristic of column store is the data stored in column rather than rows, allowing for efficient data retrieving and aggregation. And columnar storage is well suited for analytical analytical queries and data house data warehousing application compression techniques techniques are often used to optimize storage and improve querying performance columnar database are designed to handle large volumes of data and complex querying efficiently uh, the graph database the graph database used for graph structure to represent and store stores data, making them ideal for the data to complex relationships. So nodes represent entire, so while aging represent the relationship between the entities. And also queries in graph database used for the transversal to navigate the relationship between the data points and also graph database are efficient efficient for queries involving um, connecting data and commonly used in social network and recommendation system so advantages of no sql database scalability NoSQL databases are designed to easily scale out by the adding more servers or nodes, making them suitable for handling large amount of data. They can handle the, the increasing volume of data without sacrificing performance of or querying a complex.
setup. NoSQL database provide horizontal scalability allowing for a uh, seamless expansion as data grows. Flexibility NoSQL database allows for uh, flexible data modeling making it easier to adapt to uh, changing data requirements for a schema less structure and also developers can store and retrieve data in the way of this fits the needs of the application without being constrained by a fixed schema and also NoSQL database support a variety of data types including the unstructured and semi-structured data providing flexibility in data storage and also there are also a disadvantage of a new SQL database um, scalability challenge no SQL database can have a limited scalability option making difficult to handle large and complete data sets scaling out of the complex and may require a manual harding and partitioning which adds complexity to the architecture limited also support for the complex queries and joins uh, which can impact the performance of the database the consistency and, and transactions no SQL database may sacrifice consistency for performance leading to eventually consistency models that can be challenging to manage transaction support in no SQL database can be limited uh, making it uh, difficult to ensure the data integrity and maintain acid um, properties lack of standards standardized query language and tools which can make it challenging to me to work with no sql database lack of standards query language tools which can make it easier uh, challenging to work with no sql database uh, no sql versus the sql database uh, no sql Database are non-relational database designed to handle large volume of unstructured data. Uh, they offer flexible and scalability, making them suitable for big data and application and real-time real web application. While the SQL database are relational database that use a structured query language to manage and manipulate data, they are best suited for a complex query in intensive transactions and, wide and widely used in the tra um, traditional application. So in understanding the CAP uh, theorem, so no SQL database are designed to handle large volume of data with high ability and scalability. The CAP theorem states that a distributed system can only guarantee two out of three consistency, availability, and partition tolerance. Third, the the uh, the sacrifice strong consistency consistency to achieve high ability and partition tolerance. So applying CAP theorem in NoSQL and consistency ensure that all nodes in the system have same data at the same time. No database may sacrifice consistency for ability and partition partition tolerance. Abil availability uh, guarantees that every request received a response even if nodes are failing no sql database may prioritize availability over existency consistency and partition tolerance choosing the right no sql no sql includes a document key value wide column and graph databases it's 
with unique data storage and retrieval methods. Document database like MongoDB, store in data flexible, JSON like document making them suitable for structured data. A key value database like uh, Redish, an ideal for uh, simple uh, data models and high speed data access. Scalability in NoSQL uh, and the horizontal partitioning uh, for the data is distribution, low latency, high, high throughput for the performance, schema-less data model for flexibility, and high time and fault tolerance for availability. Consistency in no SQL database, most recent write or error is a strong consistency. Even, eventually converge, a casual dependency reflects acknowledged rights. So read your rights consistency. So partition tolerance in no SQL database. Even even data distribution for the data distribution, ensuring operational system for high availability, data copying and, and storage for repli replication, and maintaining data consistency for the consistency. No SQL database in the big data. So role uh, in, in big data. No SQL design handle large volume of structured data. They are used for real-time application and analytics on big data. They provide high availability and fault tolerance for distributed system. And also they have the key features like no SQL are schema-less, allowing flexible data storage and retrieval. They offer um, horizontal scalability uh, enable easy expansion to handle growing uh, data volumes. Uh, they support various data models like document, key values, and wide column stores. Uh, for the future trends in NoSQL database, uh, real-time processing, uh, continuing to monitor customer feedback, focusing on onboarding experience and pain points, accelerating hiring plan in step with forecasting growth. Scalability, implementing sca scalable solution to accommodate growing data volumes, exploring base uh, option and flexible scaling. Security, enhance uh, security measure to protect sensitive data, uh, implementing encryption and accept control to ensure data integrity. So common myth about no SQL database. So, this is the myth. No SQL database are not suitable for complex. Uh, no, no database support complex queries through features like secondary indexes and aggreg aggregation pipelines. They can handle large volume of data and complex data models efficiently and can optimize for a uh, specific uh, query patterns improve performance. A no SQL database lack asset properties. So many no SQL database do support asset transaction, uh, though not all of them. Asset properties can be implemented at different levels depending on the specific um, requirements of the application, and they can offer uh, tunable consistency allowing developers to balance within the consistency and performance. And that's all for uh, today and thank you.